What's up, people? This is your boy ABC. That, 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 that chain once again. You all know what I'm about. All I'm about is to make sure you smell good, you smell sexy, you smell confident, you smell bold, you smell masculine, you smell rich. And you know the good thing? You can do all this without having to pay a fortune. Savage by Christian Dior. This is the only perfume version. As I, as I previously said in my other videos, I said I like the other perfume versions of perfumes because the other the, the perfume they are the ones that last longer. The other toilet ones they are very mild and light and they don't really last longer. So um, I always like to pay a few bucks, like ten twenty dollars more, to get the old day perfume instead of the old day toilet. So, um. I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. Francois de Marquis, he is the um the designer of this fragrance, and then he did a really really good job with this one. This is supposed to be a summer fragrance, and it is very 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 versatile. It can work um for a casual day. It can work for a date night. It can work um formally if you wanna wear it to the office or if like if the boys are just hanging out and then you want to wear this this it is a very 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 versatile fragrance and then it works for almost every occasion so it is a, like i said it's a summer fragrance and alongside um creed aventus and blue de chanel they are the most sold men fragrances out there it is really 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 good and i give it to you again francois de Marquis. you do you did a very very good job with this one and then this opens up it, it is it is it is um a very spicy fresh fragrance you know um it has some notes of um bergamot in here in the opening you have you smell some bergamot you smell some pepper in here and then you smell some sweet mandarin and then in the base it has some sandalwood and the masculinity of tonka bean in here um longevity yeah this 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 lasts all day like i said it is a very very good fragrance and um, whenever i put it for me on my skin it lasts like between 10 to 12 hours and then it projects for the first three to four hours it is a very very good fragrance i'm not taking a thing from it francois de Marquis got this right this is spot on but as usual it doesn't matter how good the fragrance is there is always always a cheaper alternative and the cheaper alternative for this is ventana by arm of people this one this is not this is not really really i mean this is a very good fragrance but it's less than a hundred dollars i got this for what 85 dollars at macy's and this is the old perfume version which is really really good but as always there's always a cheaper version there's always a clone and i keep saying i don't work for amav i don't even know anybody from amav but the fact is they make these clones so good that i just have to talk about it so i have here ventana by amav and trust me people trust me there is i'm not even exaggerating there is absolutely there is absolutely There is absolutely no difference, people. There is absolutely no difference. This ventana right here is like 95%, or let me say 99% similar in smell or in the scent is similar. The juice in here is 99% similar to the juice in here. This is $85 and I got this for only $30. this is just the opening and and i cannot i cannot even spot any difference i'm being honest and then give it like 10 20 minutes and then you will know that th there is there is absolutely no difference i've worn this several times and you know i feel so bad because i feel like i'm giving credit to where it's not due because whenever i wear this and someone asks me oh what are you wearing or some people be like oh i like your perfume is this is this um savage by christian and i'm like oh yeah I think I should start saying no. This is Amav Ventana because, as I said, these Amav people they make these clones so good that there is no difference. And if I'm not scared, sometimes I can even say the clones are better than the original. Like I said in my previous video, Amav Tagging Purum is a better cologne. It's a better fragrance than um 
Blow the Chanel, even though um, the tagging is supposed to be a clone of Blow the Chanel. So this also presents you as a very, very confident, fresh and clean guy. And um, like I said, it has the tonka peel in here, which presents that your, it brings out your masculinity. You know, it presents you as the alpha male. And as if this is not enough, Amap also has this one. This is called the Hunter Intense, which is also like 100%. Which is also like 100% similar to Savage Joe. But this Hunter right here, it is even better than Ventana in my opinion. Because this is a very, very, very complicated fragrance. It does not clone just Savage Joe. This opens up with the Paco Rabanis Invictus um vibe you know so the first on, on on the the first one hour to two hours when you put on or when you apply this hunter intense by amav you know everybody that 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 is into the fragrance game would would think that you are wearing paco Rabanis invictus and then when it dries down it draws closer to savage dior so i keep telling you people if you pay a fortune for a fragrance like savage dior know that all you are paying for is the brand Christian Savage? I mean Christian Dior. Because if someone comes to my room and then they see this, they be like, "Oh man, this guy he knows what's up because he has Savage Dior." But if they see Hunter Intense, they probably have not even heard about it. But trust me, the Jews are almost the same. And is and in most cases, I like to pick Hunter Intense over Christian Dior because this Hunter Intense is like a combination of three very good fragrances it has some savage Dior vibes in here it has some paco rabanis and victor's vibes in here and then it also has its own distinct smell it is really really good and guess how much this is this is 25 dollars so the choice is yours i leave it up to you i'm not taking anything away from savage Dior. This is a very, very, very good fragrance on its own. It, it longevity, I give it like 8 out of 10. Freshness, I give it like 8 out of 10. Projection, I give it like 7 out of 10. Overall performance, I give it like 8.5 out of 10. It is a very, very, very good, versatile fragrance. And it's $85. But as always, I'm presenting to you two very, very, very good alternatives. Ventana by Amaf and Hunter Intense by Amaf. All right, people, this is me. I just want to make it my number one responsibility to make sure that you smell good, that you can be, you smell confident, you smell rich, you smell sexy, and you don't have to do this by paying a fortune. You can do this by paying a few bucks, and that is what I do. It is not being cheap. It is called being smart. Okay, let me hear from you in the comment section. Do you think it's worth it, or which um, clones out there do you think is better I mean, which other perfumes are there do you think are better clones of Savage Dior? For me, number one Savage Dior clone is Ventana by Armaf. And then if you want something that is very versatile, that can give you the Paco Rabanis, Invictus, and then the Savage Dior, you go for Hunter Intense. Once again, this is your boy ABC Tachini. Look good, but pay less. I'm out. Peace.